sometimes I get a little bit tired of French food, not because it's not wonderful, but because it's so rich when yeah. cheeses and sauces and things. So I go for something a little bit different because in Paris, the Asian food is amazing. The richness of the flavor, the technique, I don't know what it is, but yeah. French people really get Asian food. So today we're going to check out five Asian restaurants in the Marais that were all recommended by locals who eat out often. And we're gonna try Japanese, Thai, Vietnamese, and a Pan-Asian spot. So, are you ready? I am starving, let's go. Let's I go. Leave out. We're here at Kuma, again in the Marais. This one is Japanese, and oh my God, it's delicious. Antoine had the karagi don, which is a fried caramelized chicken with rice and vegetables in a bowl. And I had the karagi curry, which is very similar to Antoine's dish, except mine has that sauteed caramelized chicken on top of rice with a curry sauce. And I got mine with the boiled egg option, which you have to do. We started the meal with some sake, which just made it that much more festive. And the dishes here are between 10 and 14 euros, which makes it pretty affordable and delicious. The closest metro station to Kuma is Hotel de Ville or St. Paul Station. We watch people lining up here for takeout in addition to us getting it here. Obviously you can eat in because, well, we did, but we also watched a lot of people line up for takeout from the window, street food style, and you can get delivery. And let's face it, the Marais is a great place to walk off any meal with charming streets and shops everywhere. We're here at O Bao, which could easily be O Wow because the food is so good. We're in the Marais, just a quick walk from the metro station. And what we have here, it's a Pan-Asian restaurant. It is a build-a-bowl restaurant that they fresh walk cook right on the spot for you. They have vegetarian dishes, or you can make take your choice of noodles or jasmine rice. Choose your vegetables, your protein, your sauce and everything, and you build your own bowl. And today we got jasmine rice with pork and mixed vegetables stir fried with flaming wok and oh my god it's so good The price range here is between 10 and 20, but really you can get something closer to the 10 range. Ours was 14 because we added some special extra things. You can tell by the line that this place is one hopping street food spot. You can eat in, you can take it out, you can have it delivered, but this place gets a line going because it's so good. We're here at Street Bangkok, which is technically in the Yao, but it's just across the street from the Marais, and we're just blocks away from the Etienne Marcel metro station, which is on line four. And we came here because this Thai restaurant was highly recommended by the locals, and we wanted to find out what it's all about. And we got the pad su with chicken and the ginger lemonade, which is to die for. Figure for lunch, anywhere from 10 to 20 euros. Um, we spent 14.50 and we were very satisfied. And as with all of the restaurants we chose today, you can eat in, take out, or get it delivered if you're in an Airbnb and be here at your hotel. It was definitely worth coming here today. We're here at Shea Zhu, still in the Marais, and we're close to the Arts and Medier metro station. We are deep in the heart of what must be some Chinese town here because this is very authentic Asian. And we picked this place with a couple of mentions from locals, but really because of the number of stars on Google and the number of reviews and that all of the pictures had Asian people eating here. In fact, what we're hearing in the restaurant is the primary language is Chinese including from the diners. Now, when you're here, you can eat in, but you can also get takeout and delivery, and you can grab quick stuff on the fly or have a full meal. We ordered the gyoza dumplings and the beef soup, which is kind of like a faux pot, and the food here is typical of the Wenzhou area of China. And let me tell you, it's good. The beef in the beef soup just melts in your mouth. It's so tender. This 
this is a very basic cafeteria style order to go or sit down and order. You can get items on the menu here from like six fifty, you know, up to eighteen, but you can get a lot of them in that six to ten, six to twelve euro range. And let me tell you, this is not touristic at all. This place is authentic Chinese for locals and really for Asian locals. The food here is awesome, affordable, and I highly recommend it. So we're here at Pho Min, and in this place they have amazing pho soup, which I love. I got the beef pho, which was to die for, and I mean, again, the beef, just like at Chez Zhu, was so tender, just melts in your mouth. And we got the nem, of course, to wrap in lettuce and mint. And Antoine got his all-time classic fried rice. The closest metro station to Fomin is Hotel de Ville or St. Paul. And the price range is very reasonable. 10 euros for both the pho and the fried rice, under six euros for the nems, and we got served jasmine tea and we didn't even need to buy a beverage. So that was awesome. So like all of these, you can either dine in, take out, or have it delivered. And you know, for street food, food on the go, affordable food, it's just a fantastic option. All right, so if you like what you saw today and you want to learn more about food on the go all over Paris, make sure to check out our 12 amazing street food all over Paris. There's going to be a link in the description below. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, au revoir. Au revoir.